In these clips, we see the results of the detonation of Batman over Nagasaki. The intent of this video is to address the consequences of the bomb targeting error, where the Batman bomb struck 2.1 miles north of its assigned aim point. We will also estimate the number of deaths that would have occurred had the bomb detonated at its assigned urban area aim point, rather than in Nagasaki's industrial zone. This image shows a crew of boxcar. The key players in this story are the commander, Charles Sweeney, and the bombardier, Captain Kermit Behan. This crew is part of the 509 composite group out of Tinian. This is an image of the Fat Man atomic bomb. This list from a 1945 20th Air Force's 509 composite group tactical mission report outlines the target priorities for the two atomic bombing missions. The primary target for the August 9th mission is the Kokura arsenal and city. The secondary target is listed as Nagasaki's urban area. Notice no industrial target is identified for the Nagasaki mission, just an urban area. This image shows a route of boxcar from Tinian to Iwo Jima, Iwo Jima to Kakura, and Kakura to Nagasaki. Visibility over Kakura was obscured by smoke from the Yawata firebomb attack from the previous day. The circumstances of this attack are covered in this channel's video. Since the arsenal at Kakura was obscured by smoke, the bombers headed to their secondary target, the coastal city of Nagasaki, as seen in this map from a 1944 Sinpak air target document. This map shows a relative layout of Nagasaki from a 1945 joint target group document. It had not been significantly bombed up until this point. A zoom in of the city area shows Nagasaki's seven major military industrial sites. The targets are assigned a three or four letter code. From the north, target 2022 Mitsubishi Ordnance Plant, 546 Mitsubishi Steel and Arms Works, 1842 Nagasaki Wharfs and Railroad Yard. 829 Mitsubishi Electric, 542 Engine Works, 543 Mitsubishi Dockyard, 544 A Shipyard. Six of the seven industries identified are within the shaded part of this map. This zone is Nagasaki's major residential urban area, which butts up to Nagasaki's wharfs and railroad yard. This map identifies Nagasaki's susceptibility to an incendiary attack by color shade. The darker the zone, the more susceptibility to an incendiary attack. Nagasaki's urban zone has a higher susceptibility to fire than its industrial zone. If the goal is to destroy Nagasaki's industrial zone, then Fat Man's hypocenter should be located around here. If the goal, however, is to destroy Nagasaki's urban area, then Fat Man's hypocenter should be located here. So what was the aim point for the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki? This should be a compelling tell as to the goal of the attack. This information is listed in the field orders, which we'll need to decode. The Nagasaki urban area aim point is defined as point 114061, located on map 21st Bomber Command, Litho Mosaic, Nagasaki area, Mitsubishi Steel and Arms Works, number 90.36-546. So, the aim point is Mitsubishi Steel and Arms Works. No, that's a common misread of the target information. The aim point can be found on this map titled Nagasaki Area Mitsubishi Steel and Arms Works number 90.36-546. The map's X and Y axes are scaled from 0 to 15.2. We need to take the first three numbers from point 114061 as 11.4 and plot this value on the x-axis. Then we take the last three numbers from point 114061 as 06.1 and plot this value on the y-axis. The intersection is the aim point for Fat Man. This is right in center mass of Nagasaki's urban residential area. The atomic bomb was planned to detonate right in the center of the high fire zone urban area. They were targeting Nagasaki's residential area, not its industrial area. This April 1945 air target intelligence map shows a proposed hypocenter of the atomic bomb with concentric circular rings spaced 2,000 feet apart. All homes within a 1.5 mile radii would have been destroyed. Overhead view of Nagasaki with the aim point as a Tokiwa Bridge, which crosses the Nakashima River. A Google Map view of the bridge. Let's compare the planned aim point to the actual detonation point. When boxcar arrived at Nagasaki, the area was obscured by seven tenths clouds. This required targeting by radar and a last minute switch to visual targeting using the Norden bomb site. A description of the attack is discussed on this page from the Department of Energy Atomic Bomb History website.
Due to cloud cover, the bombardier sighted the target by radar. However, at the last moment, the clouds opened up and he identified the Nagasaki Stadium. The bomb was released at 11.02 a.m. The bomb released 40% more energy than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. This image shows the mushroom clouds of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nagasaki's cloud is larger than Hiroshima's, and there is always atmospheric clouds present in the Nagasaki image, given the condition differences at the target. The bombardier targeted the Nagasaki racetrack located here on this map. This map shows the location of Fat Man's actual hypocenter and the planned aim point located 2.1 miles south. The hypocenter of the bomb relative to the shaded built-up areas of Nagasaki. This map from the White Sands Missile Range website shows the location of Fat Man's hypocenter relative to the racetrack. The location of the planned aim point shown though is not correct. The planned aim point location should be located here. These images show the area prior to and after the Nagasaki bomb detonation from a 1946 USSBS atomic bomb document. This map from the Tactical Mission Report outlines the built-up zones damaged from the bomb. The bomb's hypocenter is here. The built-up industrial zones damaged by the bomb are shaded here, and the built-up urban zones damaged by the bomb are shaded here. None of the wharfs, docks, shipyards, or ship targets were damaged. This part of the city's urban zone was also not damaged. This table summarizes the result of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki attacks. Hiroshima, 4.7 square miles destroyed versus Nagasaki's 1.8. Hiroshima, 80,000 killed versus Nagasaki, 40,000. Population density, 35,000 per square mile Hiroshima versus 65,000 for Nagasaki. This table lists the target name and percent destroyed from the attack. We can add the percent target destroyed to the seven industrial locations on this map. The brunt of the attack destroyed 100% of the Mitsubishi Ordnance Plant and 95% of the Mitsubishi Steel and Arms Works. The upper part of the Nagasaki Wharfs was also destroyed. This should be expected given their locations relative to the hypocenter. This page from the National World War II Museum describes the results of the bombing. The bombs detonated almost directly over the Mitsubishi factories that were the city's primary targets rather than over the urban area farther south. The bombs did not detonate over the Mitsubishi plants and they were not the intended targets. The intended target was Nagasaki's urban core two miles south down in this zone. The hills surrounding the industrial area shielded the city's urban area and confined the blast zone. The hills adjacent to the Mitsubishi Steel and Arms Work Plant are shown here. These hills absorb the bomb's energy, shielding Nagasaki's main urban area. Hiroshima's target location is low and flat, as discussed on this page from a Manhattan engineer's document on the atomic bombs. Nagasaki, on the other hand, is hilly. All structures in Nagasaki within a half a mile radius from the hypocenter were destroyed. All homes within 1.5 miles from the hypocenter were destroyed. If the bomb had detonated at its assigned aim point, it would have destroyed Nagasaki's entire main urban core's homes extending out to 1.5 miles. It would have also destroyed rail facilities, port facilities, ships in the harbor, and anything within a half mile radius. This page discusses the consequences of the bomb's detonation. As intended, the bomb exploded at an ideal location to have maximum damage to Nagasaki's industry. I can push back on this statement. The bomb's planned hypocenter was located for maximum urban destruction, not industrial destruction. A minimum number of dwellings were affected, and hence minimum casualties. If the aim point had been farther south, the Mitsubishi Ordnance Plant would not have been within the blast zone, but more urban area would have been affected. This page from a December 1945 Naval Mission to Japan document evaluated the damage at Nagasaki and had these comments with regard to the atomic attack. A large portion of the energy from Fat Man was wasted as it struck rice fields, bamboo groves, woods, and open land. This is why the Nagasaki bomb, although 40% more powerful, induced less damage and casualties than the Hiroshima bomb. These graphs show the 2-kilometer radius zone of high population density region at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This is taken to be the lethal zone for humans. The dense region occupies around 95% of Hiroshima's lethal zone, whereas this value is around 30% for Nagasaki. The Nagasaki bomb exploded in a less population dense zone, which accounts for the reduced casualties from 80,000 for Hiroshima to 40,000 for Nagasaki. 
channel commentary, what would have been Nagasaki's death toll had the bomb detonated at the plan aim point? The two-kilometer lethal zone is shown on this damage map. The dense population zone is estimated to double to 60%. The zone encompasses most of Nagasaki's urban zone, docks and wharfs, and Mitsubishi Steel and Arms Plant. A case can be made that had the bomb detonated at its intended location, it is likely the deaths would have at least doubled to 80,000 given. The zone of dense urban area exposure roughly doubled. All homes within a 1.5 mile radius would have been instantaneously destroyed and the higher population density over Hiroshima. Do you agree with the channel's commentary on these points? The main goal of the attack was to destroy Nagasaki's urban core, not industry. That the number of Nagasaki deaths would have at least doubled had the bomb exploded at its designated aim point. If you have found this video interesting and informative, please consider supporting the channel by commenting, liking, and or subscribing to World War II U.S. Bombers.